Okay, everybody, it's true what it do. Good morning, y'all. It is Vlogmas Day 15. Yeah, we are knocking it down. We knocking these days down, y'all, left and right. So, um, this week is flying by already. I'm trying to come up with content for you guys every single day. It is a challenge, but we gonna get it in by any means possible. Um, today we're gonna do what I eat in a day uh, on vlog it's Vlogmas 15. It may have a few other things in here, you know, here and there, but Vlogmas Day 15, y'all. So what I have, I have an egg white omelet, you guys, with some broccoli, um, spinach, red onions, and then I have some strawberries. I gotta refocus, y'all. Um, I've been slipping in my pimping with this diet, so I'm refocusing today, getting my mind back right. We've been, you know, doing a lot of, having a lot of fun, doing a lot of kicking it, and I kinda lost track of my goal. I'm human, we make mistakes. Um, I'm still on my weight loss journey. I just gotta check myself, and that's what I'm doing. I'm holding myself accountable, you guys. I'm letting you guys know up front that I've been effing up. I have. And um, I just wanna put it out there for everybody to see that, you know, we make mistakes and we can fix it. We need to start over, um, refocus ourselves, get that willpower going once again, and get back on track. Don't give up. That's the key thing. Don't give up. We got this. So, Vlogmas Day 15, what I eat in a day, and I'll be back later, y'all. Okay, hey, True Family. It is around 1 o'clock p.m. I am taking a snack break. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a chocolate smoothie, you guys, but I'm going to use water. So, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of ice on. Um, I'm going to add in a, a banana. Yeah, I'm really trying to refocus and get my mind right. I did drink a detox tea. Y'all, that usually helps me with um, like bloating and gas and all of that. Um, so if you're interested, this is the dieter's tea that I use, y'all. Let me take the plastic off. It's kind of shiny. You can get this at a Fiesta. If you have a Fiesta grocery store, this is it called dieter's tea. You guys, this will cleanse you out within six to eight hours. Yes, it'll get all the air, all the waste out. So yeah, dieter's tea, I drunk that today, so that'll kick in shortly. Um, I'm gonna add in some spinach for my green. I'm using Aiden's cup. <laughs> um, I switched from using, um, what was I using, y'all? Soy milk or almond milk? I switched from using almond milk. My personal trainer said it's better if you just use water. So I guess because uh, it adds, you know, other calories, fat, and stuff that you don't need. So um, I'm using one scoop of my chocolate protein shake. I do have a vanilla, but I want to switch it up, y'all. I'm going to put a little more. So one scoop of my protein shake. And eight ounces of water. And we shall blend you guys. So y'all, I'm trying to hold myself accountable. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that are on the same path, same journey that I'm on. Weight loss, well, healthy, uh, maintaining a healthy uh, lifestyle. So that's what we're doing. Um, and I appreciate those that have said that I keep them motivated, y'all. Um, so I'm, y'all, I'm human. I mess up, but I am getting my shit together now. So we go. Pour it up, y'all. It's thick. So I usually drink it with some water. Let's see. Yum. Y'all, it looks green, but 
I tasted banana and the chocolate. Have you ever had banana chocolate anything? It's delicious. It's delicious. Get you some. All right, you guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and prep my uh, turkey breast that I will eat off of for the rest of the week. So dinner, maybe lunches, whatever. Um, I got it at Kroger Jenny O in the bag. So it says set the oven to 375, which I did. We're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven and let it, I might lower the temperature cause I'm still working. It's still one o'clock. So lower the temperature and let it slow cook. Um, and it'll be ready when I get off. Well, I probably have lunch around three. I'll take that back. Oh y'all, it's all in, it's in the bag already, which I would have preferred to season it myself, but this is what it looks like. I let it unthaw. It comes in the bag. And it says put like three to four slits in it, so we will poke some holes. Lower my temperature, y'all. Place an oven, allowing room for the bag to expand without touching oven racks. Uh, roast turkey until a meat thermometer reaches 165. You guys should always have a thermometer, you guys, to, um, I got this from Walmart, it was cheap, I don't remember what, but always have you a thermometer to make sure that you're not getting anybody sick and that you're um, heating your food to the right temperature. But I'm gonna go ahead and let that cook. I'm gonna lower my temperature down to uh, 350, y'all. Yeah, 350. And All right, y'all, it's around three o'clock, you guys. So I am fixing my lunch. Um, although I'm not technically on uh, intermittent fasting, my body is on a, a natural clock like that. Um, so, y'all, because my turkey was already unthawed, it is done. I'm gonna take it out. And y'all, it's so juicy. I cut a piece off of it, it is really juicy. So, I'm gonna have me some, um, some of my turkey. And then, once this, uh, I have some olive oil in my pan. Once this olive oil gets uh, heated enough, I'm gonna add in some, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take out maybe two cups of cabbage. Veggies, fruit veggies, you can go ham. So I'm gonna take some of this uh, seasoning, you guys. Um, I just purchased this for the first time the other day and I tasted it, it is so good. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of that on my cabbage. I want a little bit of more pepper. Now this says pepper, but I'm not getting, I tasted it, I don't get a great deal of pepper flavoring. I'm gonna put some garlic powder on here. A little bit of salt. And pepper. And that's all I'm putting on here, y'all. I'm going to put a little bit of chicken broth to steam. Once I get this, you know, all of this soaked in the oil good. And you know, it's on a shrink down. It is cabbage. I got some bread onions in there, of course. Y'all, so all I did was bought the coleslaw. If y'all remember remember from my grocery haul, if you didn't see the grocery haul, go back and watch it. Um, all I did was bought that big bag. I got a problem, y'all, I can't take it. So all I did was bought that big old bag of, of coleslaw. It has cabbage, red cabbage, and carrots in it. All good for you. So I just take what I need from that bag throughout the week do what I'm doing right now. Y'all, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of stir fry sauce on here. I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. I just wanna drizzle a little bit of chicken broth, low sodium chicken broth, just enough for a steam, not much. And I'm gonna cover. And I'll come back and show y'all what it looks like um, when I have it all plated up. Okay, guys, so there we go. Let's see, it is, the, the, the turkey is really moist, you guys. If you can see for yourself, it's just really moist. It's not dry at all. And then my cabbage, um, my coleslaw, and that'll be my lunch. And then dinner, um, I might add, 
I think I'm gonna add a few pieces. Um, I have some cubed watermelon, so I'm gonna have two pieces of uh, that, and that will be my lunch, y'all. I'll come back later and show y'all dinner. All right, y'all, let's get dinner started. I'm making uh, ribeyes. Um, I'm gonna sear them on the stove and then put them in the oven. I'm making my husband a loaded baked potato and I'm gonna have broccoli with mine. So, um, oh yeah, you know, get some of that. Y'all hear that? I won't eat this whole thing, y'all, but I am going to go ahead and season it. We're gonna use some onion powder. Some seasoned salt. Some garlic powder. And some um, steak seasoning on this side. I'm just patting my seasoning down in there. I'm gonna flip it because I want to season this side before it gets marinated too good. And I'm just gonna use some of this seasoning on this one side. Y'all, this seasoning is good. I tried it for the first time today. I bought it last week and that's gonna be it. <coughs> like I said, I'm gonna let it sear. I'll come back and show you guys once it's seared on both sides. And then we will stick it in the oven and let it cook the rest of the way. All right, you guys, let's flip it and see how seared it is. But look, it already looked delicious. So let's see. Oh yeah, y'all see that, that, that little caramelization going on? <laughs> yes, let this side sear, sear. And then we're gonna put it in the oven. Look at that. Mm. All right, uh, all right. We're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven, y'all. <laughs> looky here, looky here. We're gonna put some onions on it. Put a lid on it. I'm gonna put it on. 375. Yeah, we are done. My steaks are done. That is going to be so good. Y'all look, it's just going to come right off. Delicious. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> they are so good. Y'all so juicy. I'm going to go ahead and make my veggies. And that will end what I eat in the day. All right, you guys. And this is the last meal for today. I got some steamed broccoli and ribeye steak, y'all. I tasted this steak. It's butter in your mouth. It melt like butter, I'm telling you. Um, so thanks for hanging with me the whole day. My meals of the day. Um, make sure you guys are make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm not a secret. And I'm out of here, y'all. Love, peace, and hair grease.